guys. Um, I'm Emmett, and I'm a female to male transgender. Um, to be honest, that's the only time I'm ever going to mention that because at the end of the day, that's not who I am. I mean, of course, um, the posts that I put up are going to be, you know, following me along the journey and everything, but that's not who all who I am. You know, I like other stuff too, you know, like gaming and music and just random stuff and dyeing my hair blue, as you can see. <laughs> um, so, um, the basic thing that I wanted to say about today basically was, um, uh, I've lived in Essex for the majority of my life, um, and I came out as trans October 31st last year, and that was actually the date in which my name was legally changed to Emmett Chapman. So, uh, but the thing is, I've had a lot of problems out there, a lot of problems, um, and I, I mean, I had problems down there anyway, I mean, it's not the nicest place in the world where I live, you know, specifically, um, but obviously since coming out, that's caused a few problems for me. Um, I, uh, up until about three weeks ago, I'd never been to Brighton. In fact, I think it's three weeks today. That was my first time that I actually visited Brighton. And it was just a random thing, you know, loads of people had told me about what, Bright you know, Brighton was like a really lovely place, like the sites and everything else, but nobody had told me about, um, the community as such. They'd, nobody had actually said anything like that, you know, they'd just basically said about, you know, all the different places that you could visit and, you know, things like that. So, um, and it was the Tuesday, it was the hottest day of the year so far, and I just randomly decided, sorry, I'm just going to go to Brighton. Why not, you know? And I got in my car and I came down to Brighton. I'm actually in Brighton at the moment. Um, and um, I turned up... Um, I think I went to a pub called, what's it, The Mesmerist, I think it was, and I sat there and had a drink and everything, <coughs> and I met up with somebody who lives down here and everything, and um, it was just incredible, because, um, you know, they were saying, you know, just literally walking past all these places and actually going into them and showing me what they were, and going, that's a gay place, that's a gay place, that's a gay place. That's a okay place. Oh, look, they've got a flag out there. And I'm sitting, I'm, I'm, I'm walking with him and sort of going, well, hang on a second, because we, we have one place and it's kind of gay friendly. <laughs> one place and it's gay friendly. You know, if we had um, one of those flags up, you know, the chances are that had been burnt down in two minutes or somebody would nick it. Um, I mean, that's the sort of place of, you know, <laughs> where I come from. And, um... Um, I would, you know, I got told, you know, you, you don't have to worry about anything. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter as to whether you're trans, bi, gay, lesbian, whatever, whatever the deal is, nobody cares. And I, I don't know, I, I wasn't, I didn't think that they were bluffing or, you know, because some people are, I don't know, how can we put it, um, are very protective over where they're from or where they live. Um... And I just kind of like, you know, took it with a pinch of salt at the time. But the more I stayed there, the more I just sort of realised, you know, actually, I've not had to look over my shoulder once. I've not once had to do that. And I've not had, you know, somebody, you know, giving me this look up and down as if to say, you know, what are you? Are you, are you a guy? Are you a girl? What? You know, and I've not had someone come up to me and go, well, you know, what's, what's in your pants? What's down your trousers? You know, as if that matters. But, you know... But I, I didn't have that. I didn't have that at all. Um, and then I came back. I mean, I, I loved the place so much. I loved the place so much and how, you know, how great people were. That the second time that I came down was actually to view a property, uh, which was absolutely gorgeous, really gorgeous place. I'm still waiting to hear back from that now. I've, you know, I've put out a covering letter and everything else. Because um, a lot of places actually require you to have a UK guarantor, which I don't have. Um, so yeah, as I say, I'm just waiting on, on that and seeing what's, uh, what's going to happen with that, but, um, I then, what is it, it was that night that I went out and I started meeting people from, um, from the area, um, it was Bar, is it Bar Revenge or Club Revenge? I'm not sure, I, know, I just know it's Revenge is in the title somewhere, but, you know, I, I went down there and, um, and we were doing the karaoke, which is actually what I'm going to be doing tonight again. So, um, and everyone was great, absolutely great, you know. And um, I, I think I had somebody sort of say to me, you know, like, 
so um, do you do you like girls? In other words, I think she, I think she was trying to ask me, if, you know, me and her sort of thing. <laughs> and I said, well, actually, I'm trans, but yeah, I like girls. <laughs> um, and um, she actually hugged me. She, you know, there was a couple of them. I actually overheard that. I was like, wow, my God, you're trans. Hugs. And it was just, it was just crazy, really, really crazy that, you know, it, it, it just blew my mind, really did blow my mind, you know. Um, and loads of people just wanted to talk to me and hang out with me and stuff. And... Um, you know, I left the following day and, uh, again, on, on Sunday I turned up and I actually managed to get a hotel this time. I didn't sleep in my car like I did last time. Um, yeah, I've been here since Sunday and, um, I've been out, well, most of the days apart from one where I was like really hungover. <laughs> um, I leave tomorrow, which I'm, I'm, I'm dreading. I really am dreading. I don't want to go home. I know it's only going to be briefly because obviously, um, Brighton Pride is... Um, where are we? We're on Tuesday now, aren't we? Um, so that's this weekend. So I'll be back for that. Um, but yeah, as I said, you know, I've been out and, um, I've walked around the town, I've spoken to different people and everyone's just so nice. Like it, the mind boggles. It's just, I mean, if you knew the situation exactly of where I come from at the moment I mean a lot of the time I've had to put my hood up uh, or not had to but it felt safer with putting my hood up and walking like that you know walking like looking at my feet and ho it's, it's just trying to be invisible basically trying to make sure that nobody sees you or you know where I am at the moment I'm lucky if I can go to the shop across the road without being hassled and a lot of the time I, I, I don't get that you know there was one particular time where I was in the co-op across the road for 45 minutes because these people were waiting outside for me, and the police don't do anything, anything, anything anymore. Um, I mean, one of the times the guy had a knife, and they sent a community officer, one community officer. Um, and this is the sort of thing nobody. It's just a different world down where I am, and it's just it's it's awful. Uh, I practically sort of feel like I'm in in prison, but here. I mean, I mean, my God, I mean, because, not only because of the place, but, um, of, um, uh, the, the, the people that I've met, um, it's because of them that my confidence, I mean, I, my confidence that, I mean, I used to have this kind of confidence when I was, I don't know, 18 or something, I'm 30 now, and the more I tried to get it back, it just kept, disappearing further and further and further and I just kept thinking, do you know what, it's gone now, it's gone now, just accept it mate, you know, just, just you, you know, it's, maybe it's just one of those things that when you get older you're never going to get it back, you just got to accept that it's gone, <coughs> but since three weeks ago everything's just been going dirt, dirt. and I've, I've just come on in leaps and bounds, I mean, I, I you guys have probably seen the tweets, um, tweets and um, statuses that I've put up saying that I'm going to make a video and stuff like that. I have been petrified, absolutely petrified of making a video because I can't stand to look at myself. Now, I'm okay with it. I don't know why I'm okay with it, but it's like in the last three weeks, it's just, everything's gotten so much better. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it. How can something so simple as meeting with people and having conversations with nothing to do with trans as such, you know, just, just general conversation, just honest conversation. And it's, it's just like, what, how, how does that, how did that bring me back? How did that bring me back? I mean, I, at the end of the day, I don't really want to question it. For something that's happened that is so damn good, why would I want to question what it was exactly that made me, you know, come back to, come back to the real world, I suppose, but, um, you know, it's, I can't, I just, it, the mind boggles, it really, really does, I mean, it, I can't even put into words the crap that I've been through over the last year, just for, you know, something so simple, just to measure up, and then just go, you're free, and realise just, uh, you know, if, if I'm here, then everything's going to be okay, I mean, I'm, I'm not, 
you know, I'm not um, looking at the place through rose tinted glasses or anything like that. You know, like every 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 place has got its problems and not horrible people. You know, but I've never felt so safe in my entire life. <sighs> it's just, um, you know, I'm, as um, as I, you know, I, I said about uh, looking at a property. I'm literally that is the one thing, the one thing that I want is just move down here and I. I <sighs> I'll be able to breathe and live again, you know? I mean, I was only supposed to stay up until last night, but I actually extended the trip just, you know, by one day. I'm so glad I did. So glad I did. And, um, I just don't know what to say. Sorry, I'm just so shocked. All those years I kept worrying and thinking, um, you know, that me is gone. You know, the me that I loved so much is gone. But they're not gone because they're coming back. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's crazy. Um. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on now. You probably heard too much. And, you know, probably saying, you know, go, go, sod off. Anyway, yeah, I am going to go down to the bar. Um for karaoke, as I said, I think it is bar, I think it is bar revenge or club revenge, one of the two, um, so yeah, I'm going to be heading off down there, and um, I don't know, if you're in the area, come and say hello, um, cheers! Invincible. <laughs>